Standard Bank says earnings are up 9% for the first half, but it's warning of tough times ahead. To tell me more, I'm joined by uh, Bank CEO Jack O'Marry. Jack, good to uh, speak with you again. How lean will the second half look and, and what could turn things around? Well, I think, you know, we just think we are being realistic. Uh, we've had some tailwinds in our personal and banking business as impairments have come down. That has now come to an end. You know, the non-performing loans have come down nicely. So we won't have that tailwind. And I must say, the, the corporate and investment banking outlook to us seems uh, fairly fairly muted for the, for, for the next six months. So I, I think it's unlikely that we're going to have called economic uh, tailwinds. Clearly, therefore, most of the levers that we have are levers that we can pull ourselves or compete with uh, the, for the existing pie rather than see a growing pie. Uh, I just don't think that's realistic. Should, should investors be worried about credit impairments up 35% from a year ago? I don't think so. You know, we've often over the years said that we think Standard Bank's sort of natural through the cycle uh, bad debt charge is around 1%. So we've been uh, substantially lower than that at times and substantially above it as well. But I, I think if you look at, at, at what's, what's happening, uh, I think it's more of a normalization. We had one or two large-ish corporate exposures which tend to be lumpy that came through in the six-month period. Um, but but I don't think it's really anything uh, to worry about. At so all. so we can't we, we can't put you in the same box. Uh, we shouldn't put you in the same box as Absa in that respect. And now, from what I understand, Absa had a particular uh, challenge about under provisioning for certain loans, and we think that we you know are well well provided uh, on our loans. So so theirs was more to do with their mortgage portfolio, as I understand it. And 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 our problem, to the extent that we had a problem, was a few uh, corporate exposures, uh, both in Africa and in some of our natural resource franchises outside of Africa. Um, inclusive banking loans, um, that's up to, what, almost 3.5 billion rand from 761 million a year ago. Should we be alarmed by that growth? Yes, the growth rate is high, I, I, I grant you that, but it was a deliberate strategy. It's, it's, it's a business that we didn't really used to do. Customers, low-income customers, would walk into our branches, have an account with us, and want a loan, and we typically referred them to one of the specialist lenders at the bottom end of the market, competitors of ours. So we are trying to offer the service to our own customers. So these people tend to be, 85% of them are existing uh, account holders with Standard Bank, so we understand their credit history. And... Um, we therefore feel comfortable with, with what we're doing, but it is a, a three and a half billion rand uh, is a minuscule portion of our assets, so it's very small in the overall scheme of things, and it's short-dated loans, so if we have a problem, we, we pick it up in a, in a few months. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, I don't think it's likely to create a particular problem for us. Can you, Jack, can you, can you give us a sense of the pace of the build-up of your Africa businesses now? Well, wow. uh, it really has been growing rapidly, and we've continued to invest, which is part of the reason for the cost growth that you've seen. Um, it, it, the, the cost growth that you've seen hasn't really been called a day-to-day -day cost growth. A lot of it has been because we're building a network in Angola, for example, at the moment. Um, but if you look at the profitability in Africa, you saw grow, the, the profits growing by some 80%, just looking at the on-the-ground banks on the continent, which is a, a very big jump. Mm. And you saw loan, uh, loan growth and deposit growth around about the 30 40% mark. So very substantial um, growth taking place um, on, on the continent if you add our corporate and, and personal banking can, can, businesses Can, can, can we expect any more acquisitions, mergers, uh, in particular in Angola or Nigeria? Um, I, I think it's, it's unlikely uh, in the short term. Of course, we've always said that you know, opportunistically, if the right opportunity arises at the right price, we would be always interested in our core markets. So that, that, that stands. But I, I must say, from the various discussions that we continue to hold and our mergers and acquisitions department told, we don't see anything uh, on the horizon um, at present. But, but clearly, if you're building banks, uh, the opportunity to acquire something um, at the right price at the right time you know, has to be considered seriously, but there's nothing, nothing uh, on the horizon at the moment. OK, Jacko, thanks a lot for talking with Reuters. Jacko Murray uh, from Standard Bank, uh, live from uh, Johannesburg. That's it from us. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.